Hi everybody. Okay, so today we're going to be talking about how to register using your CUNY First account. The login for your CUNY First account should be the same as your Blackboard. When you log into your CUNY First account, you're going to go find the CUNY First homepage. It's going to look like this. You're going to put the username in. It's your first name dot last name the last two digits of your student ID number, okay, and then you leave the at login.cuny.edu. The password would have to be something that you set. It would have to have at least one capital letter and at least one number. Um, and then once you log in, you will see a screen that has a menu that looks like this, okay. You might have several options in this menu, but the one that you're going to want to be concerned with is the student setter. Um, your student center looks like this and it's where you go to get a lot of information. A couple of things that you want to look at on the right hand side you'll see a couple of things. You, you'll see the name of your academic advisor. Uh, you'll see if you have any holds. Holds are things that would prevent you from registering for classes. If you have a hold that's listed there, you can click on details and it'll tell you more information about that hold. You might have some holds from other CUNY colleges. If the hold is from another college, it's not going to stop you from registering here at Kingsboro. Okay. Um, you can also ac access your degree works by clicking the degree works online advisement on the right near the bottom. Your student center is also where you're going to get your grades uh, for the, at the end of the semester. When you're trying to register for your classes from your student center, you're going to click on this little thing here that says enroll. And it should bring you to a screen that looks kind of like this. It's going to ask you to select the term that you're trying to register for. Kingsboro is on a slightly different academic calendar than most other colleges. We consider spring and summer to be two parts of the same semester and we consider fall and winter to be two parts of the same semester. So on this screen, if you're trying to register for your spring classes, you would select spring for the year that you're trying to register for. So I'm recording this in the spring 2020 semester. So if you're trying to register for summer classes, you would select spring 2020 because the summer is considered to be part two of the spring semester. If you're trying to register for fall classes, you would select fall 2020, obviously. But if you're trying to register for winter classes, you would still select fall 2020 because winter 2021 will be part two of the fall 2020 semester. Okay. Um, so once you select that, it should bring you to your shopping cart. And your shopping cart is where you put classes before you can register for them. Now every class has a four or five digit registration code. And if you know the code, you would type it in the box that I've, I've got circled on the screen here. But if you don't know the code, you'd have to click that search button, okay? Uh, and if you do that, it will bring you to a screen that looks like this, okay? And you can search for classes in a multitude of different ways. If you know the course that you're trying to register for, like the specific course number. So, for example, if you're taking English 12 now, you know that you're going to have to take English 24 next, right? When you search for classes, you would set the um, subject to be the subject of the course, so in this case English, um, where it says course number, I always set this to say contains because otherwise sometimes it doesn't give you the right results if you don't, so I always just set it to say contains. And then the in the box next to that you would type the course number. So since we know we need to register for English 24, uh, we just type 24 in that box. The next thing that you want to make sure that you do is you want to set the session. Uh, because if you hit search without setting the session, it's going to show you both the spring and the summer classes. So to tell it that you're only looking for the fall classes or the spring classes, you're going to set the session to be the regular academic session. Okay, uh, Regular academic session is for fall or spring and if you want to set it to look for a summer or a winter class, you would set it to be the second session. Don't worry about any of those eight weeks or th six week sessions or anything like that. It's always either regular academic session or second session. When you've done that, it will bring you to a screen that looks like this, which will show you all of the classes that are available. So you see um, when I did the search for uh, fall classes, for English 24, it, it brought me up 46 sections that still have seats. And uh, the days and times are, are listed. Uh, sometimes it will tell you the room. For some of these, they don't, I mean, they don't have rooms just yet. 
Sometimes it will tell you the instructor, they don't have those assigned just yet either, so it still says staff. Um, on the right hand side, you'll see the mode of instruction. It says instruction mode. Uh, there are a couple different things that you'll see there. So that first class, section 01 there, is a fully online class, okay? Meaning that that class it meets 100% of the time online in, in Blackboard, okay? If you look at section 4, that's a hybrid class, okay? And what that means is that uh, part of the class meets in the classroom and part of it meets online. So it does have an, it's kind of a hybrid between an in-person class and an online class, okay? So if you look at the timing on that section, it's Tuesdays and Thursdays from 8 to 9. If you look at the section above it, which is a totally in the classroom in-person class, it's four days a week from 8 to 9, okay? So this f section 4 here is two days a week in the classroom and then two days online. So, when you find the section that meets at the time you like, okay, you'll have a green button over on the right hand side that'll say select class. Don't push that button because uh, it will um, kind of bypass the next screen. And I want you to look at the next screen so that you find out more information about the class and that you'll see why in just a minute. If we want to look at more information about the class, we would click on the section number on the left hand side, either the class number or the section number. And when you click on that, that will bring you to a course description, okay? And the days and times, the rooms, the instructor, it's all still listed there. Now the enrollment information is what uh, I want you all to look at. That's going to tell you if the class is part of a special program or if it has a prerequisite. A prerequisite is a condition that you have to meet in order to take uh, this class. So for English 24, the prerequisite is English 12. In other words, you have to pass English 12 in order to take English 24. The other thing that it'll say under the enrollment information is uh, if the class is part of a special program. Now this particular class is only open to students in the ASAP program. So if you're not in the ASAP program, the computer is not going to let you register for this particular section. The class capacity is how many students can register for it. Enrollment total is how many already have, so there's 27 seats left. The course description is there. Sometimes it will tell you the textbook. And when you're ready to select it, you'll have a green button on here that will say select class. But since this is only open to ASAP students and we may not be in the ASAP program, we need to choose a different section, okay, because otherwise it wouldn't work unless you're in the ASAP program again. So to look back, you don't hit the back button on CUNY first. It always kind of messes things up. What you would do instead is you would click that button on the bottom that says view search results, okay, and if you do that, it'll take us back to this screen. The um, list of all of the classes. So if we choose a different section here, let's say let's look at that section 3, okay, um, and it'll bring us more information. So again you click on the link on the left, the section number, and it'll bring us to the screen that tells us more about the class. And you see this one this still has the prerequisite for English 12, so you have to pass English 12 to take English 24. But um, this one's not, this particular section is not reserved for ASAP only, so anybody can go into this section. If you click the select button, it'll bring you to this screen that says, are you sure you really want to select this class? You click next, and then it will appear in your shopping cart, and it will look like this. When you put a class in your shopping cart, you are not registered for it, okay? Uh, it's just basically putting the, it in the, uh, the cart to tell the computer that you intend to register for it someday. So putting a class in your shopping cart doesn't reserve a seat in the class, okay, in the same way you have to finalize the registration. So what you do to do that is you click that button that says proceed to step two of three and then it's going to bring you to this screen that says are you sure and you click finish enrolling and when it works it'll give you a green check and it will say success this class has been added to your schedule. If it doesn't work it will give you a red X and it will tell you why it didn't work. If it, uh, You always want to read what it says there if it didn't work because it's like a time conflict with something that you've already registered for, then you have to pick a different section. But more often than not, it's going to be something like a, a prerequisite error, okay? Meaning that it's not reading that you have the uh, prerequisite to get into the, the class. Uh, this happens a lot with math, and uh, even after the grades are posted. And so if that happens, you have to call the registration help desk. You give them the registration code for the class, you give them your ample ID number, you tell them that you've met the prerequisites, uh, and then you they give you the permission to register for it, and then it should work from there, okay? Um, so that's how to register for classes, 
and uh, how to search for classes. That's CUNY First in a nutshell. And um, yeah, hope that was helpful.